Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Ninth Cup Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me again on my channel. I am here to do your North Node readings in your astrological birth chart. So this is a little bit different than your sun, moon, or rising placements. The North Node could be completely different than what you're used to um, looking at regarding your tarot readings. For example, my sun sign is Aquarius, my rising sign is Taurus, and my moon sign is Leo. But my North Node placement is in Aries. So you may have the same um, scenario with your birth chart. Um, now, these readings aren't specific to the placement of your North Node, it's just specific to the Zodiac sign. So this reading for today will be for the North Node in Capricorn. I'm going to do a seven card spread and get clarifiers. And you know, for those of you who are unfamiliar with the North Node, it's all about your soul's destiny. It's about carrying out your soul's purpose during the current human experience. Now, because of this is our destiny, there may be challenges and hardships that come up, a little bit of resistance even, as we begin to embark on those things that will get us closer to our highest self. All right, so in our current position, for you North Node and Capricorn, is that you have the Empress. So this is actually your energy. It's Capricorn and Venus, or Venus and Capricorn. Um, so that's your current position. So some of you may be, um, you know, starting something new. You could be, um, some of you, for you divine feminines, you could be pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant um, or just embarking on a new journey. The Empress does uh, signify um, beginnings, but like also being very fruitful. So you may have that in mind, or you could be currently experiencing a lot of abundance. All right, in our foundation, we have the Six of Cups. This is the Nostalgia card. This is also a soulmate card, so you could be connecting with people from the past or someone special from the past, or just thinking about things that really, you know, warm your heart space from, you know, earlier in your life. Um, yeah, the Six of Cups is like reflecting on um, good thoughts and feelings from your past and just being in a state of nostalgia. Remember, Cups energy is all about the emotions. It represents water. So the water signs, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And now I'm going to get a card for what's crowning you. What's crowning North Node in Capricorn? North Node in Capricorn. And by the way, I do not read reversals in these readings. However they come out is, um, you know, I read them upright. If they fall out onto the table in reverse, I'll read them that way. But when they're in my hands, I don't take them reversed. So crowning you is the Hierophant, the card of Taurus, your fellow earth sign. So Taurus, I'm um, sorry, the Hierophant is all about um, religious practices, um, kind of going by the book. It is a healing card. For me, the Hierophant is also about um, like self re reinvention, like reinventing yourself, um, transforming, um, going inward and doing deep healing. But the Hierophant could also signify um, partnership. So some of you could be, um, you know, we, we did get a soulmate card with the Six of Cups. So crowning you as the Hierophant, you could be thinking about, um, you know, really connecting on a deeper level with someone special in your lives. Um, now the next card is going to be what's challenging you. Um, a few cards, actually too many flipped out. Let me keep shuffling. Um, this deck that I'm using right now is the Guidance of Fate tarot deck. All right. All right. Temperance. Temperance is in your challenging position. So you could be having a hard time being patient or just balancing out your divine feminine, divine masculine energies. Uh, Capricorn is an earth sign. It's ruled by Saturn. So it's all about karma, um, doing what is like right for you. So following rules, having a structure, being practical um, and kind of remaining steady. So the opposite sign of Capricorn is Cancer. So that means your south node is placed in the sign of Cancer. Cancer is a water sign. It's the mama bear of the zodiac, very emotional, uh, very nurturing and caring, but it is um, really like rooted in its emotional state. And Capricorn is more rooted in like the, the earth realm. So things that are logical things that make sense and you know like I mentioned things that are very practical so the fact that this temperance card is in your challenge position you all may be um, you know embodying your south node placements which all of us do naturally by the way you know that cancerian energy 
whips can, um, you know, throw you off a little bit. If you're, if you're too like stuck in your emotions, it can, um, yeah, just throw you off balance. So you may be having a hard time, um, tapping into your North Node in Capricorn. Remember, if you have a North Node placement, that means that embodying the light side of that sign could be a challenge for you. So for you all who are watching with the North Node placement in Capricorn, you could have a hard time um, being practical, having a plan, uh, following a schedule and you know, resolving karmic debt. So this is like a reading for your soul's destiny. Um, all right, next card is uh, what you need to know. So in the position of what you need to know with the Nine of Cups. This is actually inspiration for why I started my YouTube channel, the Ninth Cup. So the Nine of Cups is all about wish fulfillment, but it's your own personal wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, um, feeling like you are really happy and in a place of acceptance with who you are, yeah, who you are and what you're doing as an individual. And it's just, you know, leaving behind those things that are emotionally unfulfilling. So Spirit wants you to know that, you know, whatever you're embarking on, whatever products you have, whatever changes you're making, it's going to bring in um, some really good feelings of emotional stability and you feeling like you are in alignment with your soul's purpose. And I am going to get clarifiers here because there isn't much of a storyline so far with what I've pulled. Um, and we can see just, you know, dive in a little bit more to the energies, the current energies for North Node and Capricorn. All right, next card I'm gonna get is your outcome energies and then advice from spirit. All right, outcome energy, I have the death card. All right, so you guys may be closing out a cycle or transforming. The death card is Scorp the card of Scorpio. Um, it's about transformation and uh, literally ending something, um, letting go of something. So perhaps, yeah, perhaps you're making movement towards your fulfillment and you're letting go of things of the past. You did get the nostalgia card. So maybe you're thinking of the things that just, you know, are, maybe it's a little difficult for you to let go because it did bring you joy at one point in time, but it doesn't any longer. All right. Advice from spirit. Advice. Okay. Two fell out. No, actually, I'm sorry. More than two fell out. Um, this deck tends to be a little bit jumpy. I've noticed that. Um, okay, here we go. Advice from Spirit is the Three of Pentacles. So teamwork, collaboration, thinking about prosperity, that is Capricorn energy, um, all about um, you know, getting the fruits of your labor, um, being rewarded for your hard work. Um, yeah, so maybe you guys are embarking on a new project, a new job. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. So leadership, abundance, enjoying, um, you know, the finer things in life. King of Pentacles, I believe this is your energy as well. This is Capricorn energy. So let's get some clarifiers, you guys, because I'm not quite sure what's going on here with uh, Capricorn and North Node. So let's clarify this Empress. And if you would like to book a uh, personal life path astrology reading with me, we can dive into your own birth chart and get some answers for where you are meant to go in the current human experience. Just look at one of the links below. I also have personal tarot readings um, and I offer them bundled together if you're interested in that. So check it out. Okay. Clarifying the Empress. Six of Swords. Yeah, you guys are moving away from something. Six of Swords represents air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But Six of Swords is about moving from choppy waters into karma waters. So maybe um, now this doesn't have to be literal. Like it doesn't mean that there was a lot of turbulence in your life, but I'm getting that, you know, whatever you guys are moving away from was either stressful or, um, yeah, just emotionally draining because the fact that it clarifies this Empress, this is kind of like what you want. You want that Empress energy. Um, you know, the feeling or even the reality of being very fertile and fruitful and where you're coming from just wasn't that, um, okay. Clarifying this six of cups is a six of wands. So that's, this is clarifying your foundation. So victory, um, six of wands is the card of victory. So it's more hard work. Now, the thing with Capricorn is that it is a very hardworking sign. Again, it's an earth sign ruled by Saturn. Um, it can 
it can get into the space of overworking, but that's not to say that it, you're never successful. I think Capricorns um, are known to be very successful people, very prosperous, but they also can, like I said, they can overwork. Um, so this is telling me that the six of wands, that's clarifying the six of cups is that you have been victorious, you have been successful, you are feeling nostalgia about those successes you've had and rewards and accolades, but there's something that just doesn't cut it. There's something that there's something more that you want here. And this hierophant could be, um, yeah, card of healing, that crowning position, the hierophant. You all thinking about um, your values, standing true to your values, your boundaries, your beliefs. Yep. Clarifying the hierophant is the sun card, the happiest card in the deck. It's the card of Leo. And this is illuminating things. The sun literally puts light on things that are dark or that were once in the shadows. So you may have been in a position where, you know, to everyone outside, to the external world, you're very prosperous, very successful, but inwardly, you didn't feel that way. Um, and you, and you want to, the sun is, um, you want wish fulfillment, you want bliss, but the sun card is telling me that you now have a new perspective. It's like, Things have been brought to light, but like as it relates to your own perspective on your life. Um, and that may have thrown you off balance a little bit because clarifying, oh my goodness, double hierophant. So the hierophant came out again. When, card, when the same card comes out twice in a reading, that's for me, that is spirit telling me that the energies of that card are very present with wherever you are in your experience. Um, this hierophant clarifies temperance. Yeah. So you guys are thinking, you might be juggling two different choices or realities. You may be wanting to move forward in one direction, but like how, how you were raised or how you were trained, how you studied really contradicts where you're trying to go or how you're trying to change. Clarifying the Nine of Cups is the Knight of Wheels. In this deck, wheels are pentacles. So this is, um, this is actually the slowest moving night of the deck. It is your energy. It's a uh, earth energy, the night of pentacles. It's clarifying the nine of cups. So this tells me that whatever it is you're going to, you're going to go slow and steady. You guys aren't rushing into anything. You're coming from a place of a lot of experience. You're tenured in your area of expertise, but it's time to make a switch. It's time to move towards wish fulfillment and emotional bliss um, emotional stability, and you're going to take your time with figuring out just what that is. Yeah. You may have an idea, but it's like, you don't want a full blown charge right ahead into it. Um, and again, I'm getting that this may be work related. I don't see this as being relationship focused, um, or even family focused. I'm seeing this as more career career, profession, education, even. Okay, let's get clarifiers for the death and this three of pentacles. Okay, yeah, the clarifying the death card is the seven of wheels. So the seven of pentacles, this is about thinking of your harvest. Like I just mentioned, some of you are coming from a place of where you were highly rewarded. Um, you were highly compensated even. And you're thinking about just where you want to take your pentacles now. Like, what do you want to invest in? What do you want to learn more about? Um, you know, Capricorn is a very careful sign. Um, and it doesn't want to be um, like uh, the word for spendthrift. Like it doesn't want to just spend kind of without intention it's very careful about where it puts its pentacles, that type of, that energy. So this is what your soul needs to do at the current moment. It needs to figure out, okay, you need to go inward and figure out what you value. I'm also getting that there's a change in values. There's a change in your beliefs about what, it, what is okay to value and what's not okay to value. And that's maybe what this temperance card was about. So maybe not so much like feminine, masculine energy. I think it's more about your value system and your beliefs. 
something was thrown off balance. You guys may have been in a role or in um, like studying something that you were told or programmed to believe was the way to go. And now you're like, that isn't what I'm wanting to do for the rest of my human experience. Your soul might have been like jolted open or like, you know, yeah, something happened where you had a little bit of a revelation. That's what I'm getting for you, uh, North Northern Capricorn. All right, clarifying the Three of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands. So again, uh, this is fire energy. This is about taking action, um, but it's graceful leadership. Um, it's poise, it's tact. It's knowing, it's kind of standing in its own truth, knowing that whatever action you take, you are going to be progressive. You know, it's going to be the right step. Um, now, the thing with the King of Wands is that it, it, you know, first off, it's fire energy, so Leo Sagittarius Aries. It is going to, this energy, and um, I don't think I said this, if there are kings and queens that come out in the spread, it's not gender specific. It's just the energy. So this could be pertaining to any divine feminines that are watching. You could be embodying the king of wands energy. And this is like, um, again, it's like a sense of knowing that what steps are going to be taken are going to be in the right direction, but it's clarifying the three of pentacles. So what I was going to say is don't get too caught up in, um, trying to control everything or trying to like be the leader of everything. Like if this is a collaboration you're thinking about, allow other opinions and perspectives to come in. Um, and don't think that you can just kind of blaze full ahead in the direction you want to go in. Don't let like the, um, you might have like tunnel vision is what I'm getting. Um, so be mindful of that and be, yeah. And trust that, Spirit's going to guide you in the right direction, but you may think with Capricorn is that it's, it's an earth sign. So it's going to really rely on the third dimension, like what's right in front of it, what it can see, touch, hear, and feel. And the thing with North node is that it's your soul's purpose, your soul's destiny. So a lot of it, um, a lot of the signs and clues are going to be like of the fifth dimension. Um, so that may throw off like back, going back to this temperance card, it could throw off someone who has a North Note placement in Capricorn. Um, bottom of the deck, we have Page of Cups. So yeah, this is something new or someone younger than you um, or something that's in its beginning phases. Cups energy, um, again, it's about the emotions. So yeah, you guys are thinking about what's gonna make me happy now. And it's gonna be something that you never um, thought of previously. Like, yeah, you're, you're taking the time to think about whether or not it's gonna be emotionally fulfilling moving forward, but I think where you end up is going to be like what you never expected. That's what I'm getting. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to close out this reading with three astrology cards. They're just like tarot cards, except these cards reflect the planet's planetary energies. Okay. And if this is your kind of thing, please subscribe, like, share with your friends and family. All right, first card out is the temperance card. So you guys got temperance twice here. So patience, this is also telling me that you need to have some patience with whatever it is you're embarking on. You know you're gonna go slow, you know you're going to pace yourself, but I'm also getting that you may be expecting rewards very quickly because you're coming from a place where you've been rewarded, where you've been fruitful, but this new journey you're embarking on, you may not see the same kinds of fruits and rewards and accolades that you did previously. Now that doesn't mean that you're on the right, on the wrong track. It's just time is fluid, right? And so we may not get the things that we expect when we expect it. The sun, you guys got double sun now. So you have double hierophant, double sun. Um, what else is double on here? Double hierophant, double sun, double temperance, and now, um, yeah, double sun, sorry. <laughs> I said it twice. Yeah, so double sun card, you guys, happiest card in the deck. That means that this is what's on your mind, I think. I think you guys are looking for like total wish fulfillment. 
you, you know what you're, it's like, you know that you're capable of having it and you know that it's doable and realistic and feasible. And this is what you're going towards. Yeah, definitely. And we just had that Lionsgate portal open up. Um, as of the date of this video, um, Lionsgate was about two weeks ago and we're still currently in Leo season. So I think a lot of things kind of cracked wide open for many people with that Leo energy. New moon in Leo was just a few days ago. So these energies are still present. Um, and I think a lot of people are just getting the courage. Remember Leo is ruled by the sun. The sun rules the heart. So a lot of people's heart spaces have been cracked wide open. They're thinking about what literally is going to make them feel better. And finally, we have the three of wands, three of fire, which is sun and Aries. This is waiting for your ships to come in or are you taking action, going after those ships that are meant for you? Yeah. Now that is fast paced energy. So again, um, this could be like surround energies that are surrounding you, right? Like if you're around people that you work with or that, um, inspire you or that influence you, they may be like urging you on to like go a little bit quicker, a little bit faster, just go inward. You know, you know, what feels well, apply these energies as they relate to you. This is a general reading. So this could be anything. Um, and just know that moving really, really fast may not be the best option for you now. Although like having a sense of like courage and determination and staying high vibe is definitely beneficial, but it doesn't mean that you need to like make decisions with haste. Um, yep. And then the bottom of the deck, this deck, we have the 10 of water, which is the 10 of cups, Jupiter and I'm sorry, Mars, Mars in Pisces. So this 10 of cups, you guys have the nine of cups that came out earlier. And now the bottom of this deck, you have the 10 of cups. So this is wish fulfillment as it relates to community partnerships and family. It's a sense of kinship and belonging and you know, all of the above. And yeah, so this is definitely a reading where um, I think the energies are all about you all pursuing something that is more aligned with your soul's purpose. And that's more rewarding uh, from an emotional perspective. I think you guys have been rewarded in a physical aspect, you know, money, investments, property, things like that, but you want to feel good in the heart space. And I think if you take your time and you honor yourself, honor your own feelings and create your new values, hold steady to those boundaries, you're going to be fine. You're going to get this wish fulfillment and you have the sun um, shining light and guiding you along the way. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I love you all. Um, again, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, or share if this is your thing. And I hope to see you in some of the future readings. Be sure to thrive. Bye, you guys.